Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of the Neo Ottoman Empire. I'm Ablios Kilvin. Where we continue on. Can, can you go there? You can, perfect. Continue on our conquest of the Soviet Union. To the point where I'm becoming hesitant to actually go any farther. Not not actually. Oh yeah, there's a minor landing here. The problem is most landings turn out like this, so occasionally there's just this one Swedish landing and my guard is down. And it just gets all messy. So I'm going to start peeling a lot of troops off this line. Because it is they, there is too many troops here. Like, we have a near full army here. And we're really thin on the Soviet front. So what I'm thinking is, we, especially since these have land forts, they're pretty much perfectly fine. Like, this is a defense line. It, they do not stand a chance. Um, so we're, we should be able to pull troops off of it. And some people are asking as if the uh, if the game or the stream is lagging. In this case, it's totally the game. Like, I'm getting 6 to 8 FPS right now. It's pretty bad, actually. Like, the game usually isn't this bad, but, I mean, this this world war just keeps going. Uh, there's full, uh, full-on fight between the Soviets, the Allies, even the Axis over here. God knows. Force rotation, good, good. Yeah, we're, we're just sort of kind of prepping for nukes, though I haven't even begun building that because I'm too busy building more factories. Okay, we don't need more infantry equipment, that's fine. Uh, if anything... Do we just need... We, yeah, I guess we do need more artillery. Like, we're still using artillery 1 and 2 with this as well. So, we'll start on another artillery line. Alright. Go there. Alright. Okay. Okay. And... Yeah, congratulations, you guys are being reassigned. Once that's taken, anyway. Okay. You guys are being reassigned to the front line in the north. Let's go. Good. Yeah, it's a full three-way war at this point, yeah. Even with the fall of Germany, like, I'm still taking up the mantle of Germany. Somehow. We're, we're, we're holding on with it, so... Might as well. Push. Kill, maim, destroy. So yeah, the, the, the game is... Uh, the, the game is having some trouble with it. It's chugging pretty hard. But that's pretty normal for Paradox games. Yeah. Um, leaving a... There's actually three ports here. So I I do agree with your sentiment though. Uh we should probably be garrisoning these ports. I don't have to worry too much about the Mediterranean. Um because like the allies don't actually have access to the Mediterranean right now. <laughs> they they can't get transports through here. And they can't get transports through there. So they actually have to land in Africa and then, like, launch an invasion around. Which the AI does not do very much, so... This is really the only place that needs garrison. Because, uh, I mean, the Soviets probably are not going to be la launching naval invasions. Call it a hunch. I think they have a large enough land border with me that, that's, that they're perfectly fine at just doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Christ, even the Afghans are out here. This is so sad for the Soviets. Alright, let's see if we can't push north of Kharkov here. So, I mean, Orel would be ideal. The steel would be another godsend for our industry. There's nowhere we can push here, is there? Not really, huh? Well, if you go there, you can push there at least. Die. 
Yeah, you're fine. Huh. Good. Alright. There's three heading to four ports here, isn't there? Yeah, so I'm gonna... One, two, three, yeah. Okay. You guys get reassigned to the field marshal. And reset on there. Go. Good. Alright. So gentle push north of Kharkov. There goes research. Slow but steady. We're about to get strat bombers and fighter ones. Where we're holding. Yeah, I think the Allies are starting to win against the Soviets, though, which puts a bit of pressure and urgency on me. I need to try and take as much land as I can. That said, I mean, there's Republican Spain who should be helping. Loray still controlled by the German Reich. Um, in theory, they should be helping anyway. Go. This might actually be an encirclement then. Alright, perfect. Bon bonus encirclement. Hey, kill kill a troop. There we go. Yeah. That's the end of them. Alright. So uh, although we can definitely beat the Soviets, the question is, can we beat them hard enough? And where are we on this scale again? 25% of the war contribution. We're way over, uh, the German Reich at this point. Italy, uh, 43 at least. Unless that's in their occupations, though. Alright. I lack national focus. I don't have any national focus to do. Well, I mean, I guess I could do mechanization. Actually, I am doing a bit of aviation. I might as well. There's no reason not to. I guess. But yeah, this is pretty late in the game. I've long since pretty much done all the national focuses that matter. Alright. Is anyone ever going to do a playthrough as one of the allies, say UK, France, USA? Almost every playthrough I've seen through has been the Axis nation or other being the Soviet Union. Uh, the problem, I think, right now is that the allies are overpowered. Um, if we're going to talk about balance, the allies win 9 times out of 10. Which means that they are not particularly interesting to play as. Because even if you fuck up and fail, like you just won't be punished for it. You'll win. Like, that tends to be the problem right now. Ooh, we have a, we have a problem here. Because those are... The, yeah, the Italian soldiers are... Uh, should not be covering a front alone. At all. Like, strat redeploy, let's go. Like, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Come on now. The USA is not really limited until 1942. You can pretty much do... You can pretty much enter the war by... On 39. It's not hard. But, yeah. Like I said, the problem is right now... The Soviets would be kind of OP as well. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. They they definitely are, but... Well, like, like I said, right, right now, the Axis are underpowered, if anything. It's very rare to actually see them win without player without the player actually actively helping them. So, that that's why you're seeing a lot of Axis right now. And as Paradox sort of tweaks the balance to make it a bit more interesting, I think, uh, I think the allies will come into play, but it's going to be a little while. You know? Alright. Push there. Alright, well that cleans this up, doesn't it? Good. 
I'll say it's Saratov. There's probably nothing here, but eh, it's nice to have. Let's see if we can't push up here. Take Saratov for ourselves. And yeah, we've managed to relieve the Italian guard. Thank Christ. These guys are slowly stagnating to death. The Saratov salient. Eh, it's possible, but I'm not too worried about encirclements. Again, I don't want to put too much pressure on the Soviets, I'm, because I kind of want them to try and wear down the uh, Allies. A fair bit. If at all possible. Speaking of which... Alright, U10. Congratulations, you have, a, you have a job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. There. One in each province should hopefully be enough. They're not exactly well-built divisions, but they'll have to do. Yeah. And I pretty much can't. I know, I know. I'd, taking every encirclement might also be a bad idea. As, as I've talked about, if I put too much pressure on the Soviets, they collapse. But I want them to, I want them to sort of last, you know? S not necessarily to savor, uh, s savor my fight with them so much as to savor their fight with the Allies. That's, uh, that's gonna be important. The Ref Recurse would probably succeed. Possibly. We'll see. Fighter 2. Uh, and Decryption, or Encryption 3. It'll remove any of their remaining bonuses that they have over me for that. Should give me a good old, uh, good old chance. Now, Froznia, Orel, Bryansk, Gomel. Yeah, Odessa. All right. Love how Norway is landlocked Central Europe right now. Yeah, there are some weird invasions, yo. There's been some weird invasions. <laughs> yeah, the yeah the uh, the Soviet front is rather open right now. They don't have anywhere near enough troops to actually garrison everything. It's kind of a shame. Like I said, if I if I put too much pressure on the Soviets right now, I'm worried that they collapse to the Allies. And uh, as long as the Allies keep fighting and keep wasting a lot of their manpower here, that's good. Uh, I mean, I am definitely in a position where I'm not even remotely worried about them making Moscow before me. As far as I'm concerned, it's going to be an e easy, uh, easy move for me. To make Moscow. Like, mo most of the goddamn front is wide open. Field Marshal. Here's your goddamn plan. Go. All right, I'm 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 done lightly pressuring the Soviets. I, I as much as I do want them to keep fighting the Allies, I I should probably take as much as I can. Uh, do I have enough industry to create a couple light tank divisions to aid in encirclement? Not really. Um, I don't even have enough equipment for all my troops yet. So, definitely not going to be, uh, looking into that yet. Uh, and when I do have enough equipment for all my troops, I have much better things to do. Trust me. I would love to start mechanization, for example. I would love to start building, uh, artillery tanks to replace my current artillery. Um, and start going for that. There, there's a lot we can do. Uh, but I need a lot more industry before I even consider light tanks. There's a lot more to do before I even consider light tanks. I also have to consider the concept of building a strat, a couple strat bombers for nuclear bombs. Because I might be able to force, uh, others into capitulation. 
with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that, apparently, since we had it. Okay. When does this game end? In theory, never. Uh, in reality, 1948... Um, but the war, the, the game will continue as long as a player is at war. So, until peace is somehow made between me and the allies, uh, yeah. It, it will probably end whenever I say it ends, though. Which, to be fair with the series, I've, you know, said it's ended several times, and that's been an absolute fabrication. Because I keep coming back and just being like, I can do better. I can do better. This is what I love about the series. Like, when I first started playing, it was literally the start for me. Literally start of Hearts of Iron. And now I'm, you know, like two weeks into Hearts of Iron. I've come back and I'm a hell of a lot better. It's pretty good to start with, but you know, good start. Alright. Good. Yeah, the resistance in neighboring states is making some of this occupation a bit awkward, but... Alright. We're trying. Why are four in this state? You, you do not need to pacify that state that hard. Come on. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll just get more troops out there soon. God knows we're going to need it. Alright, just firing nuclear missiles after 48 and the war will end rather soon. Yeah, probably. Like, half of my thoughts on the matter are I'm going to not never take America, but I can definitely control the old world. Like, Japan's holding on. That's all I can ask them to do at this point. If Japan holds their ground and I make, you know, Leningrad and Moscow and that, it's over. Hell, I probably don't even need to make Leningrad with uh, Vladivostok under control. Moscow might just be enough. Like, they, they actually only have 55% national unity right now. Oh, dear. Like, uh, yeah, Mo Moscow is probably victory. Mo Moscow is probably victory. Infrastructure is sabotaged. I know. That's why we're trying to train these guys. Come on. Alright. 17 days until nukes are researched. That said, I'm not building any yet. So, I probably... I'm not going to build any for fighting the Soviets. That's, that, that, that is the definition of a waste. Alright. Alright. All right. Okay. You're counting on Japan to not be spastastic. Hey, uh, you know what? If they if they can just survive the Soviet onslaught, that's all I can ask. If they fail, they fail. If they don't, they don't. If they do, bonus points for them. It's far from you know, far from me relying on them. It's just helpful because they're distracting Soviet troops. But I mean, we can see that that the gear for the Soviets is absolutely falling apart, among other things. Yeah, here's some factories we've seized. Hey, there's Aurel. If we get a hold of that, that's the steel we need, boys. Yeah. There we go. Like, we're actually just about... We're, we're just about there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we're missing only like a thousand guns. 264 uh, support equipment and a thousand motorized. We're getting much more combat efficient now. Yeah, in Hearts of Iron 4, they just do massive depression. You can reduce their national unity to a base at 10, um, which for the Soviet Union might work because I can't see their national spirits. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, yeah. They have a base of 31 right now. But, um... Actually, it could have been a lot worse. Could be a lot better than that, or it could be a lot worse. It's it's actually possible to have zero national unity as the Soviets, which is really bad. Because they're the only ones I think in the entire game that have a, a negative modifier for their national unity at the start. 
Neat. Congratulations, your garrison areas have... Er, the number of areas with which you have to garrison. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There. It's the best you're getting. Figure it out. Oh, wow, I never actually garrisoned Georgia, did I? Right, that was Soviet territory. This is also all Soviet territory, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Have you gotten, uh... Have you gotten good at commanding, by chance? Very slow. Learning as a field marshal is hard, so... It'll take him a while to become good. It's probably good he's practicing on these weakened Soviet soldiers, then. It looks like the plan calls for us to take a lot more than just Moscow, though. I will say. That said, I have every inclination that I wish to press this plan forward ahead of time. Towards Moscow. So I'll be doing manual command here. Yeah, nukes don't kill population, which is one of the weirdest things in this game. Mind you, there are a lot of weird things in this game, but... The nu nukes actually don't cause any damage to the uh, province itself beyond destroying the factories, so that, that is kind of shitty. Alright, we're up to 154 freaking factories. Out of curiosity, are we considered major countries, or... Yeah, we are. Cool. Yeah, these are the major countries of the world. Somehow bitchy France falls on that list? I don't know. Probably because they're just France, and France is always a major... Hey, it's Arel. Yay, we seized the city of Arel. Which means steel for all. And nukes. If I ever uh, ever build nuclear reactors, those will be on the list, I promise. Okay, so that's covered. Uh, all right, time to actually start researching tanks. T tank, tank time, boys. Because I'm going to probably want to start replacing some of uh, my artillery. Just some. With additional, with uh, with uh, mechanized, what I like to just basically call mechanized artillery. Which is medium three tanks uh, with or with uh, the artillery modifications. So if we go here. We go to medium three and we click medium three self-propelled guns. They have a soft attack of 112, which is slightly higher right now than my current artillery of uh, an astounding 91, I think. So, and this is before the variant. You can get a soft attack of roughly about 200 here. It's not too bad. Uh, it's expensive, but we have steel, we have tungsten, we have oil. So we have all the resources required to build them. And uh, that's basically what we're going to be looking to do. We're going to have to research a fair bit before we can get that far, but... Uh, those, those will improve our army strength even farther. Which is a scary concept considering what we're doing to the Soviets right now. Like, some of the divisions are below half strength. This is not good for them. Tula. We're almost to Moscow. It'll be a while, but we're looking at it. Soviet Union has 84% of the way towards capitulation. Yeah, I mean, at this point, a hard sprint for Moscow is what we're doing. Fuck it. If we, if we can make a uh, hard sprint to Moscow, then the Soviets surrender. The question is, do I do a reckless charge? Command everyone, move to Moscow, and, uh, and take it. Because that is something that we can do. It's not necessarily a good idea. That said, the Soviets are a rather disorganized bunch right now. 
and pressing our advantage. Might be uh, just enough anyway. Like, I don't think the Soviets are going to be able to organize a counterattack in time. And it's okay to just sort of leave my front a little under garrisoned, as it were. Odessa's worth an additional 10, just in case. Just, just in case. Did, did anyone just see what I did to this brigade? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a war crime. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and I'm about to double the... And I'm looking to double the uh, soft attack of my artillery with the uh, tank stuff that I was talking about before. Oh, hey, it's the Moscow fortification lines. I'm pretty doubtful those will be of any use, but... To the enemy, but... For that, you'd actually have to have organized defense. <laughs> Alright. Go, it's time to charge with reckless abaddon. Push. Push. Make it to Moscow and end the so the Soviet's life. Ah, we don't even need Moscow, do we? Fuck. Any uh, easy to come by here? Yeah, they're they're, they're finished. The march on Moscow is all it needs. And so the Soviet bear surrenders with the fall of Moscow. And wait for it, because this will take probably a solid 30 seconds. Oh, jeez. This is a bit of a harsh offensive, but we did it. We darn well did it. Please wait. The game is trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. This always happens every time a major country surrenders, pretty much, so. Hmm. Okay. The Soviet Union has capitulated. The Latin Empire has capitulated. Yeah. That's so. Can only withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Turkish forces throughout the country. The Soviet government chose to flee. This is also good, as it gives Japan most of their land back. Um, the war with the Comintern isn't over, necessarily. Uh, we have a long way we would have to go, if we're going to pull that off, uh, mainly with the Republic in Spain. That said, our forces are now suddenly a lot more capable. Yep, reassign. These guys are also no longer needed, as much anyway. We'll uh, delete training more. Alright. Congratulations. Bit of a roughy front line. Um, how about this? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll try. I doubt it'll go well, but we'll try. We're, uh, we, we will try. That is the remnant of the old front line. Yeah, uh, let's blow everything up. Draw a new front line. Select the army and go. Figure it out. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, that leaves SFR Yugoslavia, Republic in Spain, the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, and Mongolia left in this war. I guess I shouldn't completely count Afghanistan out and should probably push them down, just to be certain. Lithuanian Empire is going to yeah. Our, uh, our stuff here is going to sort, sort of fall apart here. All right, that's fine. Good. So, we also now have 390 industry. And all the resources we could goddamn well ever need. Alright. 
That's that's the stuff. All right. Some more infantry weapons going. Now, we actually have the industry uh, for armored vehicles. When we invent armored vehicles, anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, so, Afghanistan will fall. Uh, oh, great, that gave the British Raj back to them. It's whatever, I have to leave that to Japan, don't I? Or something. No, I guess you guys are going to be your own army then. Yeah, point our uh, very lovely guy. Whatever. Yeah, you guys just make Afghanistan capitulate first. Uh, then you guys have to cross the British Raj. Go. All right. That's taken care of now. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. That's still a ways out. Support battalion stuff. Uh, well, military police would be a good idea to start researching. Also, wow, yeah, there we go. Uh, we don't need those uh, factories too much anymore. So, it would be real great if we uh, potentially started on some nuclear reactors now, wouldn't it? I don't suppose we actually had any? No. They're on the list to be done eventually. Though I'm going to let the repairs finish first. I think those are more important. Alright. We're producing all the guns, boys. We need 26,000 to upgrade, so... No surprise on that. Oh no, a naval invasion in the Middle East. Probably. Yeah. I mean, there really isn't much I can do about it. There's just going to be naval... They're, they're going to be able to launch naval invasions literally everywhere, so... I don't know why they do. They really shouldn't. Like, I, I can see no logistical reason for them to do so, considering they have pretty sizable land borders with me. Italy got its uh, Albania back. Alright. Yeah, we, we might suffer some initial, uh, initial issues. How about you guys fall the fuck back? Rather than dying there. Yeah. Please do not get yourselves encircled. Holy balls. Alright, delete. Replan front. Come on. Fall back. Fall back. There we go. Alright. We need to try and get a stable-ish front here. And I really do not like how wide this is, to be honest. I really don't. That said, is there any chance of us just being able to plow through Romania to Bucharest? I don't think there's any troops, so probably... Yeah, they, they shouldn't have troops there, so. Plow through Romania, make them surrender. That closes the front of fuckload. Good start. Alright. Because the allies. Alright. What else can we do here? Um, well, I think we can actually start training. Ooh. No, we apparently don't actually have enough equipment to. We'll need to wait a little while before we begin training. There we are. Support equipment's filled. Yeah. Guys are almost at full strength. They're just down a bit of motorized. Yeah, Alright. I guess we'll do fighter focus. Can Greece rename Istanbul to Constantinople if they capture it? No. No, they cannot. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually going to bother attacking here or, or not, but... Oh, god damn it. You guys need to get the hell out of there. Just leave. Just leave. No. 
Boop. Out right on out of there. Alright. Yeah. The the Romanians don't have any troops, so good news. It shouldn't be too much to make them capitulate then. Yeah, they have they have most of the victory points here. All goes as expected then. No. Go, go there, then there. And is that enough? Uh, Romania. Yep. Good. Apparently not, but that's fine. There, that should be enough, right? Oh, so Romania's playing the Don't Capitulate game. Great. Just my favorite game. Favorite game of all time. Come on. Don't don't break on me now. I need you. I need you, game. Finish off Romania. Close this front. Because Christ, we have not enough troops to be everywhere. Especially not if we get our ass randomly encircled a lot. Which kind of always a threat with the AI. Irish and Netherlands tanks. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh no, I mean, I do have 58 uh, some odd troops for this front. Might be lucky. No. You, you guys have stuff. You guys use stuff. That's fine. Alright, uh, alright, right. um, an offensive line here. Go. That shouldn't affect anyone else. Why the absolute shit are we out there? Come on. Let's fall back a little bit, please. Let's, uh, let's take the Bruja, finish that off. Clutch. So, I guess because Romania capitulated once or something, there's still, like, a government in exile. So I just have to conquer all their shit, which is really annoying. God knows the level of headaches this is going to cause me. Alright, let's try and, uh, let's just try and clean this all up now. So they, they literally, I don't know, they have a single victory point here in Arad. Well, we'll take that to make sure that's not the uh, only part that matters. The good news is, like, we've liberated Hungary, who should hopefully be able to get back on track for their shit. I don't know if they will be able to. We'll see. Uh, I know what I will do to help them, though. Hey, uh, hey, Hungary. There you go. I'm going to buy all of Hungary's aluminum and give them access to my factories. I don't really care for the aluminum. I just want Hungary to try and rebuild itself a little bit. Basically the Marshall Plan. Except I'm the Ottoman Empire and doing it on Europe. <laughs> I mean, it's basically same in concept. It's just a little little weird. Yeah, Flange is Poland. Somehow this all ended up in control of the German Reich. I don't think it matters, but we'll, we'll figure it out in time. I'm sure. Right, let's try and put an end to some of these weird bulges in the front that's extending it beyond necessary length. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Right, the finish. Finland's a front, too, because all of the Nordic countries joined the Allies. Here's the thing. I don't think I can stand alone against the Allies. I really don't know if I can. Not not maintaining this much land, that's for sure. Well, this is much front space. That's that's the true terror. That's at least better, but... I really wish this tendril wasn't there. 
So we, we basically just have to move through and try and dismantle R Romania. So that way uh, our front line is a little clearer. Also we'll prevent any uh, sneaky breaky stuff from happening back here. How things go here. Yeah. Repairs are underway for a lot of things. There. And hopefully Hungary is getting their repairs out of the way. They'll need it. Alright. Things aren't balanced. This is why Turkey's conquering the Soviet Union. This is really, really quite true. Yeah, I'm not too worried about naval bombers, to be honest. Um, I have no intention of leaving the friggin' old world mainland. I have absolutely no reason to. I'm also going to start making a move over to mechanized. Uh, although we don't have the rubber to produce it, it's still not bad. Because at least there's the potential for us to uh, start using the stuff. There we go. Close in on that. Close in on this. There. Like, I just want to slow, like, shut this front, you know? God. Italy and Yugoslavia. And then, or, well, Spain and Yugoslavia. They're going to be a headache. I mean, it's already a big enough headache dealing with the Allies as a whole. Christ. Like, we don't have actually have enough troops for this front, so that's the real problem. I need to, need to start doing something with that. They, uh, they're going to be coming back for that land soon, I'm sure. All right. Anyway. So, thank you everybody for watching this episode. I've been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. Signing off.